CataractCoach.com. Easy ICL removal and cataract surgery. Let me teach you the easy way to remove these fake IOLs. Now, here's a patient who had the Vizian ICL implanted about a decade prior. Now, you can tell this is the older design because there's no central aperture for fluid flow. So, we've got an older design ICL here in the eye. Obviously, a very, very myopic patient, minus 16 or 18 or somewhere in this, in this range. Now, we're making our incision here temporally using a diamond keratone. And remember, when this IOL, faking IOL, was implanted in the eye, it was also implanted with a temporal incision. So if you look at this lens, which has a round optic, but the overall haptic size is square or rectangular, this rectangular shape is oriented at the patient's 3 o'clock to 9 o'clock. So here, using a Sinsky hook in this little eyelet to bring the two foot plates here above the iris, and now trying to do the same on the other side, so again, just using a Sinsky hook here. Now be careful, don't damage the anterior lens capsule. That's an issue you can have if you're a newbie resident or, or, or learning surgeon. You don't want to poke through that eyelet because if you damage the posterior capsule there, you're going to be in a world of trouble later. So now once you've got that lens kind of freed up and brought above the iris, here's the trick. Rotate it in the eye about 90 degrees. Yeah, that's the secret. Because look, now it's so easy to grab the optic edge or the lens edge here with these forceps. Get a good grip there. Take a little bit of time. Make sure it's a nice, strong grip. And once you have that strong grip, you can just pull it out of the incision. And now in your second hand, use another tying forcep to help grab it. And you can explant the whole thing just like that. See, by rotating at 90 degrees, it gives us much easier access. Now, if you look here at the end of the case, beautiful result. The cataract surgery went great. There's the lens in the capsular bag. This is a very special order ultramyopic lens. Here's some triamcinolone just to quell any post-op inflammation. By the way, did you check out cataractcoach.com, our teaching website? So much great material, way more than you'll find on YouTube. You've got the full PDF book of cataract surgery, how to learn and to do it. It's all free. The curriculum series, you better just check it out. Also, the podcast. The podcast is really great. Every Sunday, a brand new episode, everywhere you find podcasts. Now, end of the case here looks great. Patient had a beautiful outcome here. Let's look at the second eye of the same patient now. Now, this is the second eye of the same patient. Now, you'll notice, why are you making the incision at such an odd position? Well, this is where the patient has some corneal astigmatism. So we want to make that incision on that steep axis, and that means you as the surgeon scoot your chair around a little bit. So again, putting a little viscoelastic in our earlier on. Now we're just going to use an instrument like a Sinsky hook or something else to help free up the lens. Now, you just take your time on this. Go in that eyelet. Don't go too deep. Barely go into it. And pull back. And you see, I don't want to go too deep. So it may slip off a few times. That's okay. Be patient. But if you poke through the hole all the way, you will damage the anterior lens cap. So you have to avoid doing that. And remember, it's just this is a fraction of a millimeter separating success and failure here. So once you get this thing up a little bit, now it's a lot easier on this side because the position of our incision to grab right there at that edge of the IOL, the fake IOL. So again, getting it above the iris is very helpful. So once it's above the iris, and this lens is very soft and flexible, very easy to manipulate inside the eye. And once it's up here, again, viscoelastic is your friend. Inject more viscoelastic underneath it to separate the fake lens from the cataract. And then obviously you want to have some viscoelastic to protect the cornea too. So again, freeing up that lens, and that's the side you want to grab. Because this side is so easy to access now because the lens is more rectangular shaped. So it'll be easier to grab over there. So you know, move your forceps around, get the lens rotated a little bit. And once you get a good grasp here, you can pull it out of the eye. Now take your time with this. Sometimes you want to use two hands, like here. I'll use two hands just to make sure I get a good grasp of it. There you go. Once you get a good grasp of the uh, um, edge there of the lens, now you can get rid of that Sinsky hook from the other hand and get some forceps. But I wanted to show you the whole video unedited. It takes a little bit of time to get it right. You got to be patient here. And then you can pull it out of the eye and here the tying forceps to help deliver it. And now pull, 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 deliver that out. There it is. Very nicely done. Now just do your cataract surgery as usual. Remember, these are very highly myopic eyes. There's a whole section on cataract coach, how to do these myopic eyes. And you can see this side, just like the first, beautiful rexus overlap, perfect position on the IOL, very nice outcome. And in this patient, we aimed for a little bit of post-op residual myopia because that, as you know, is a gift. Heck, even I'm a little myopic. 
Remember, new podcast every single week on all podcast services. Check it out.